my ladies and pretty gentlemen. Welcome back to Look What's Happening in the Spirit Realm. Today I have a very somewhat of an unnerving message. The overall energy that I'm getting today is justice. Justice. And I can't shake this part that I'm, I'm hearing along with justice. I hear you're going to be sick to your stomach. You're going to want it to stop. You're going to think it's excessive. You're going to believe that justice is a cruel and harsh and thorough and <laughs> overcoming permanent entity that doesn't stop or slow down that doesn't take a step back once it's started to make leaps and strides. Justice is a very cruel and harsh and real thing. And I don't think that we understand the extent of what we've asked for, or better yet, what people have asked for and they didn't know it by messing around and now finding out. Because we think, I'm hearing this, we might feel the pain of what we saw being done on us, the injustice, the heartbreak. But justice is an entity of its own. It's a balance of its own. I think it's snowing. A balance of its own that doesn't comprehend your feelings, if you know what I mean. It doesn't comprehend you saying, okay, well, that's enough. No, it doesn't work like that. We aren't cut out for it, is what I'm hearing. You're, you're not able to stomach it. It's not something you can stomach. And when I say you, I mean you. Because for your quote-unquote enemies, I don't like that word. For those who have done you wrong, for those who have repeatedly, repeatedly done you wrong, see, they know they deserve it. To them, it's not excessive. Because I'm hearing justice as a separate being, a separate creature, having a conversation with them. Because you might have felt the heartbreak, the pain of what was done to you, but justice saw the intention, justice saw the depth and the, the desire for that person to continue doing that to you. Justice saw the whole picture, even the part of the pain that you were spared from bearing. So you're going to be sick to your stomach. And somebody told me um, on my TikTok story yesterday, which was the last day of 2023, Somebody commented, the last day of justice. And Spirit said to me, nay, it's the first day, or first is the last. But that sunk in for me really deeply. And what I've also received from Spirit loud and clear today is that as justice begins to take hold, it is a very cruel entity. When I say cruel, I mean it doesn't back off, it doesn't subside until it has been served to the extent that it has been earned. You earn justice. It's a slow creature, it's a slow thing because it is unrelenting once it begins. And the energy has flipped. You see, those who have for so long held back their apology. They've held back the accountability that they so desperately needed to claim. It's all shifted now. Justice does, does very few things to people that have done you wrong when it begins. Their mind gets shifted. It's a shifting of energy that takes place 
It's not a punishment. It's a shift. It's an internal shift that comes with realization, that comes with perhaps not taking outward accountability, but inward accountability. That's beginning today. And for so long, the energies that have been very stubborn, very unchanging, unwilling to recognize their wrongdoing, today is the beginning of their freedom. Today is the beginning of them relinquishing that desire for their ego to be preserved while allowing a pause to take hold on your life because one of the other side of the contract hasn't been signed with regards to things that need to be uh, null and voided, things that need to be divorced from certain timelines that needed to be severed, the bridge that needed to be burned, metaphorically speaking. Today is the first day of that. And like I said in the other video yesterday, it isn't hard to see you anymore. And I don't believe this is going to be a long video today because I feel nauseous just thinking about, just thinking about it, I feel nauseous. And I'm hearing all the things that they didn't mean when they said, when they meant you well, when they said, I hope you have a beautiful day or a new year, or I hope that your life brings you joy, even if I'm not in it. All those things that they half-heartedly said to you, spirit is shifting these people internally. They're not on their high horse anymore. Even though they've projected you being as on top of a high horse when you weren't. People are beginning to see their reflection for what it really looks like. You see them mask the, the identity theft that has been running rampant in the past years has come to a screeching halt starting today yesterday actually but today the shift is palpable it's real it's real enough to be in the cards it's it's not they don't have the the, the ability to sway left to right anymore they, they're not they don't have the room to play pretend not with themselves and a lot of things are sinking in they're sinking beneath the surface of the skin. And when this begins, lovers, when you see what is being carried out, I heard that you're going to be, the whole biblical term, begging for the mercy of your enemies. <laughs> I never thought that I would say that. I never thought that that would be conceivable, but it was. I conceived of that today. And... You see, you have a very soft heart. You really do. You have a very big, soft heart that cares so deeply for people that have even hurt you knowingly. You may have, you know, vengeance in your heart or pain in your heart that might momentarily sort of muddy that in, in, inert love that you have for them. But it's very present. Your justice is here. And that means so is theirs. See, justice is, is a very stable thing. It's very certain. And it has two sides of a coin. It's the same coin. But depending on what you've done, you see a different reflection of that coin. And a lot of people are Specifically those who have trampled on you at your low season. Those who, it was quite easy for them to paint you as a needy, um, even selfish, insecure, dependent, unstable person. They're beginning to realize the projection for what it is. Because they've been sheltered from the truth for whatever reason, 
and I do believe I'm hearing this now, that it was to humble you, viewer, to humble you. You needed to relinquish a certain amount of power, a certain level of resistance, even give up in some respect and move on, live your life knowing that you will never receive closure because people have been too good, too good to give you what you deserved. They've been too good for you, yeah? They've made you feel like you weren't it because they were sheltered. They were sheltered by your light. They believed the reflection that they saw coming from you was actually them. And they, they were free to treat you whatever way they wanted because you were the scum, because you were the, the muddied image that they couldn't quite make out. You were the second choice, not even that. You were just there. You were just an option, a, a thing that you know will always be there, something that you can use as much as you want, and it won't but. It won't budge, it won't bite, it won't resent, it won't resist. That was love they were abusing. It wasn't you. You are love. But you needed to learn self-love. You needed to put your foot down. You needed to be cold and cruel. You needed to balance the darker side, which is in you. Because for so long you've been guilt-tripped to please people. Because if you were to pick yourself, to say no, people were guilt-tripping you that you were being bad, you were being selfish or choosing yourself. And it was an inside conversation. It was the way that they phrased their words. It was a very backhanded sentiment that you were receiving from people when you even decided in your mind without taking actual action to choose yourself. You were met with resistance. You were met with, who do you think you are? You're the one who always gives. Heck, if you're not going to do a hundred times more than you, more than I will ever be willing to do for you, then you're not even going to receive my conversation. You have to reach a point where you were okay being dead alone. You were okay seeing people for what they are which broke you into all the tiny pieces possible, which made you feel like there was nobody on your corner, that you were surrounded by monsters. Spirit had to ask you then, are you ready to see the truth of who you've been dealing with? And now Spirit is asking you today again, are you ready for the justice to be served? Because don't get it confused, your enemies are ready, they have been ready. They have doubted that justice will ever be served. They have mocked and spat, not just at you, at love, at the idea that there is such a thing as fairness because the unfairness has gone on so long that that idea of them living in this prejudiced world that was favoring them had solidified in their being, in their bones. You know why that happened? Because they're not gonna question when justice is served. You are the one who's gonna be questioning justice when it is served cold and smoking ice cold to them. You're going to be the one questioning, is this necessary? I mean, hold on, hold on. I think it's enough, it's been 10 years now. Like, do they need that much longer? Like, is this? It's a bit much, isn't it? Spirit says, no, you didn't see. You don't see. You only saw what you needed to see in order to pick yourself over them. You only saw what you needed to see. You didn't see what you didn't need to see. You didn't see the whole picture. See, justice is an entity of its own. It is not human. I believe it to be some kind of angel. It is a beast and you do not want to be in a way I wish there was a world where we didn't have to be on either side of receiving justice we could all be in kumbaya land you know 
that's not it. Some people, even you had to face that, chosen one. You've had to face justice. You may have been a quick learner. You may have realized, oh, wait a minute, I see why I was served this piece of tragedy and pulled yourself together and made the right choices and took accountability before things got worse. But there are people who need the ultimate gavel to be smashed down over and over again, perhaps their whole lifetime, for them to sit beside their ego. That's what's going to happen. And this is why two days ago I made a video saying that you need to make space where least resistance resides. Because my lovers, believe it or not, your time is here long overdue, if there's such a thing, but it is here. And whether you believe it or not, you will set that side in your heart. You will set that resistance aside because justice, you're going to be sick. It's gonna make you feel sick inside. You're not gonna wanna watch. And you don't have to, Spirit is saying. This is beside you now. You can move on now. You can, you can move on. You don't have to watch this part. You don't. And this part is necessary for you to see because once that justice is being carried out, a part of you is going to be unburdened. Not because somebody's being punished on your behalf, no, but because you're going to finally realize that you were faced with a lot of pain, that you weren't even allowed to embody, that you weren't even allowed to actually say, you know, sit down and heal acknowledge that you were hurt you see you've sat around and you've you've patted people's tears dry when they went through perhaps even a quarter of what you went through not to compare pain but nobody patted you dry nobody nobody hugged you for real nobody gave you the 